It's Chetna, Facebook Live, working with the color rays, journeying shamanically and working with healing. And I'm really glad to be here with you now. So this week, the color is fish fin blue that we're working with to support us with COVID. And I'm just going to give you guys another minute to show up. And um, what I'd love today is if you, um, I can see you, Zography is here. So if you um, just want to say where you're from, or if you want to share anything that you'd like me to address or work with, you can put it in the notes below and I will see your message and I will try to answer it even on the call. But to begin, we're going to start opening the directions and then creating the sacred space. So if you're at home, if you want to light a candle, if you want to rattle or you want to hum or you want to sing, just to start falling in tune and bringing in the energies. So today, Fish Fin Blue is helping us and um, thinking about yourself as a fish in the ocean, okay? And really calling in the element of water and water, our watery selves. And being able to be fluid and adapt is part of the gift of the fish fin Blu-ray. So let us now, tuning into the East and thanking the spirits of the East for their love and their support as we work today. Just allowing yourself to, your awareness to flow out to the East, perhaps even to a body of water that is East from you and seeing the sun's sparkling rays on the surface of the water. The East is the place where the sun rises. And feel yourself grounded in your own body. And yet you can be aware of the East and the sunrise. How grateful we are for the blessing of the sun, the light coming after the darkness. Thank you to the spirits of the East for their support and their love. Bringing our attention to the South now, the noonday sun, the warmth, and the beauty. And South of you, think of a body of water that you know of. Maybe let your awareness spread out to that, those waters. And thanking the spirits of the South for their support and love as you work now. We thank all the loving, supporting, helping, invisible ones who come to uplift us and bring wisdom and grace and healing. Thank you. And we bring our attention to the West now, the place of the setting sun, and thanking the spirits of the West for their support and their love. The beauty of letting go, the sun letting go of the day. From where you live, imagine, see the sun on the horizon going down. And giving thanks. Moving to the north now, the sun is set. Perhaps the moon is on the rise. The stars are out looking to the north. Give thanks to the spirits of the north for their support and their love. A lot of support coming from the north today. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And we thank the lovely healing supportive beings in the lower world, our power animals and other allies nature 
is powerful in, in the lower world. Mythical creatures, all sorts of beings. We thank the lower world for their support. Their vision. And we thank the middle world spirits, the spirits of the place where you live, where you are right now. Let your awareness go to where you live. And the elements there, the waters, the air, the earth herself, the plants, and the sun shining upon you where you live. And thank your true self for showing up, your own soul self, bringing your soul into alignment with your personality, calling forth the deepest, vastest part of yourself, coming into alignment, being present. So give thanks to yourself for choosing to be here and do this work together today. Your soul pulls you here. Okay, and the upper world spirits, the angelic, the archangelic, the wise ones, the sages and ages throughout the ages, in time, all time, who wish to help lift humanity up right now. And this includes the Colory Masters. They're not limited to the upper world, but the Colory Mansion is there, and you can go anytime to receive a healing to the Colory Mansion. So we thank the beings. Thank you for coming. And Golden Cobb, one of the ones who has created this work and supported so many of us to evolve through working with the colors. The beautiful evolution that is possible. We thank them for their support and their love. Okay, okay so I'm sorry, my thing, I'm going to make sure everything is off. I'm going to shut that. Okay, so technology, just when you think you have it sorted. So um, here we are, fish fin blue. That's a very fish fin blue moment. I didn't expect that ringing to happen. And then how do you respond? You shut it down. And the quality of fish fin blue is to support us. That was really fish fin blue. I have to laugh now. You know, like if I had tried to organize that, it wouldn't have happened, right? So it's like <laughs> fish fin blue is like something is coming at you. Oftentimes, I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you a little story about fish fin blue before we journey into it and you have your own experience of the color. I'll just give you a little background about the color and um, what it's there for. The key word for this color is get away. And if you think about a shoal of fish in the ocean, they're sort of swimming together in this kind of group mind, and then a predator comes, like maybe a shark or a whale or a dolphin, somebody who wants to eat some of the fish, but we're the fish and we don't want to get eaten. So you sort of feel that's coming and then you turn and you go the other way, you swim that way, or then something's coming and then you turn and you go this way. So fish fin blue is about having your etheric energy out, your consciousness, your discernment is um, percolating in your auric field like you're really sensitive to yourself. And you're aware of the energies around you and what is feeding you and lifting you up and energies that come in that sort of don't feed you and they bring you down. So Fish Fan Blue is about making that spontaneous movement to move away from the things that are not supporting and nourishing you. This is really about self-nourishment. And I think a lot of us tolerate things that we don't need to tolerate. We um, put up with behaviors from friends, perhaps, and people that just are not supportive and not helpful. This week, it's really important to see it clearly. 
and you know the old ways are finishing and the new ways are coming in but part of that is our awareness is changing so you might find that you're not really fitting with some of the friends that you've had before or you know you you just took it for granted because that person was always there and it's always been like a fixture in your life maybe creating a feeling of security or you know continuity community for you but actually is it really supporting you is this person seeing who you really are and lifting you up and why do you continue to give energy to them when um, in a situation and and continuing to repeat something that you know isn't making you feel good you come away from it feeling tired you come away feeling um you're not sure if you were put down or not or you know you feel a little confused or ambivalent you definitely don't feel energized and supercharged and i think this time of covid has shown a lot of people i mean this is the color ray for covid healing we have other rays that we work with and we have stations that we work with but this specifically, this week, this is the color to help us with COVID. And when I say COVID, it's for everyone like on the planet. But, it, you know, us as individuals, we we're working with that ray. But as we receive it and we understand and we move through the layers of what that means, it also matriculates out, moves out to the public and moves out to the more the collective we are creating a generating a wave of fish fin blue for the world this will support the covid workers the frontline workers this will support the people recovering from covid but this also will help all of us as we are looking at how do we sort of take responsibility um wearing your masks you know the message could also be this week with covid hey you're around people who you don't feel are really very conscious or very aware like you're going shopping to get your food and you feel like there's a bunch of people not wearing masks and they're coughing and they're touching things well your fish fin blue can go like hey i don't need to be here i don't need to be around this you know i don't want to touch all these things these other <clears throat> touching you know you don't need it you don't need to be around it but you know it's a vibe that you pick up um I'll give you a small example. I was leaving my family in New York and I was returning to England in February and the news was just coming out about COVID. And I saw two people wearing masks in the airport. I was going to weigh my luggage and they were sitting right next to the scale and they were dripping with sweat. They looked like they had a fever and they were wearing masks. And of course I was hearing about COVID and I could have stood in this line and like waited to weigh my bags and i was kind of looking at these two women and i thought they're sweating their faces flushed they're like dripping with sweat and they're coughing and wearing masks do i need to sit here on this line while they're coughing i thought no i don't need to be here and i took a walk around the airport for half an hour and then i came back and they were gone and then it's like i was like okay that's like kind of a fish fin blue awareness it's like you're aware of yourself, you're aware of what you need, and you're aware of what's in the environment. Is that helpful to me or is that supportive or not supportive? Now for years, I'm with, I've worked with um, older people. Um, I was giving a massage once a week to a dear friend. She's passed now, beloved Vedanta, lovely, lovely woman. For 30 years, I massaged her every Wednesday when I was in town with her. And because she's so much older, she died in, the 90, in her 90s. If I caught a common cold, I couldn't go anywhere near her. So I became hyper vigilant of like, who's coughing around me? Who's got a cold? I don't need to pick up a sore throat because then I can't serve her. You know, I can't be with her. If I had the slightest inkling of a cold, I couldn't go anywhere near her. So because I spent a lot of time with elders, I became more cautious about my own health and well-being and what kind of energies were around me whereas before if it was just me I would never have done that I would have been like who cares I'm invincible I mean I'm, I also don't have children a lot of people who have kids tell me like oh they've always got a cold and you know kids are like petri dishes or stuff growing all the time and so you can't avoid that but if you're aware that you have to do something or be super cautious with yourself because you're caring for elders or more vulnerable people then you might take more care for yourself 
So that's one example of fish fin blue. You just kind of leave a situation that's not nourishing. Now, because it's also the element of water, I want you to feel into your emotions. It's like, what emotionally nourishes you? What emotionally are you drawn to? What emotionally is sort of repelling you? Because of subconscious patterns, if you grew up, you know, none of us had perfect childhoods. I mean, I had a really good childhood. I'm blessed. I'm really blessed. I had a really good one. But, you know, a lot of people suffer deep abuse in their families, just patterns, conditionings, ancestral stuff. You know, we get used to being treated not well. So then it seems like normal. But now is this week is bring more awareness this week to what are the situations that are nourishing you, that uplift you, that make you feel good and you want to hang around. And if something's not fun for you or you feel a little tired from it, move with the fish fin blue and just get out. And don't be polite. I spent many years in England and people are extremely polite and you might wait and wait for the, the, the natural break and things. No, fish fin blue, move, get away fast, no explanations, run, <laughs> leave, leave, just go, you know, and shock yourself, you know, just leave and you will feel the relief. You will feel the grace of the fish fin blue. This is the fish say, oh, Mr. Shark, you're coming at me. Your teeth are so big. I, I, I don't really want you to eat me today. No, he doesn't have a conversation. He's not polite. He just whoop and goes. So if you're really an adept with this ray, actually it sort of hits your solar plexus and your brain doesn't kick in at all. Your solar plexus just goes, mm, feels wrong. Mm, I'm going. And you go. So Fish Fin Blue helps you to catch those moments and move with that alacrity and that speed and get out of situations which are toxic for you. So having said that, we are now going to do a little journey and you are going to ask Fish Fin Blue, we're going to sink down into Fish Fin Blue and you're going to ask what are two or three situations in my life that I need to do the fish fin blue on. You might not be conscious, it might be habitual for you, right? So let's ask fish fin blue to show you where you could use more of this energy. Where am I not using you in my life that I should be using you? Show me, please show me the situations or help me understand. Some of you are not visual journeyers, so just trust that in this time that I'm rattling and, and for you, that you are going to come to an understanding of what you shouldn't be tolerating, what you should not be remaining in. So you're going to get flashes of situations that need to change for you. Okay, and then ask Fish Fin Blue to give you a healing and to give you a blessing to help you to remove yourself from these situations, to give you the momentum, the juice, the kapow, to just boof, to get out, you know. Now, so getting away. So let us now journey in to the deep ocean, fish fin, blue energy. We're going to meet the masters of the ray. Could be a shoal of fish. It might appear as something else to you. There's no rules with this. Okay. So fish fin blue, please show me the situations in my life that I need to apply your energy and grace and help me to get away, show me, okay?
preparing to come back. Thanking Fish and Blue for the support, the gifts and the energy to be more authentically yourself. I'm coming back now. taking a few deep breaths now of the fish fin blue energy the grace to be authentic and true to yourself true to your soul's desiring following your true voice not following the voice of conditioning not following the voices of society of what you should do or should be or what you should think but fish fin blue giving you the power to be true to your soul true to your spirit true to what you really need to be doing and it doesn't matter if you feel in your heart and your being you need to move away from where you live, you need to leave that job, you need to get away from those in-laws, you need to whatever you need to do to nourish yourself. If you're not nourished, you're not present. You're not being true to yourself. So have the fish fin blue blessings this week to be true to yourself, to follow your soul, your needs and many fish fin blue blessings to you all and um, I, I know it's kind of private but if you feel like sharing I would love to see what fish fin blue what gifts fish fin blue gave you to help you to be more authentic and to have the courage to leave situations that are not nourishing you and uh, if you had any guidance from Fish Fin Blue that you're willing to share that you think might help others, we would love to hear that. So please put it below. And um, I just wish you lots of love this week. And you know, love is what's healing all of us and being together and having these kind of meetings. So enjoy your Fish Fin Blue energy this week, being authentically yourself and moving with speed so with fish fin blue blessings i'll say goodbye for now but i will hang out and look at your comments okay and i'll comment back if need be all right bye